I'm Hector Spinal Global Artist for Fenty Beauty, and today I'm with my beautiful model Lauren. Today I'm going to be recreating Rihanna's look for Vogue Arabia. I already prepped Lauren with the Fenty face. I used Pro Filter in the shade 360, and then contour and warm up the skin with truffle. I'm going to go ahead and start with my Moroccan Spice palette to really create some shape on the eye before I add the beautiful blue color. Step one, we're gonna use our amplifying eyeshadow primer. I like to start directly into the lids, then blend it out with my ring finger. Using my Invisimac, I'm gonna lightly dust that to make sure it's nice and set. Using my Moroccan Spice palette, I'm gonna start off with Cumin Get It, and I just want a nice wash of this color along the crease, slowly pulling out and dropping into the center of lid gonna create a nice shadow underneath the eyes. I really wanna drop this color as this is gonna be my base shadow. And from here, I get to create a beautiful shape. I'm gonna dip my brush into Hennessy. And what I'm gonna do now is just emphasize the shape, focusing more on the outer corners, creating like a wing shadow effect. Dab inward for a soft blend of shadows and just saturate that color in the outer corners. So again, outer corner creating a V shape starting from the crease, winging it outward and bringing it into the lash lines. Using my all over eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna dip it into Hennessy and smoke out the lower lash lines. And wing it all the way out. Using my same all over eyeshadow brush, I'm gonna dip it into Suki to me. I'm gonna really go ahead and add this beautiful satin finish eyeshadow. Now using the back of the brush, I'm just slightly bringing it into the center of the lid to ensure I have the best blend that I can possibly get. Using my taper blending brush, I'm going to use Cumin Get It to diffuse any harsh lines. Taking a smaller brush, I'm going to dip it into Suki to me, and I'm going to create extra definition around the root of the lash, then putting that color really outward to create a nice soft wing. Now I'm gonna go ahead and create a very sultry effect to it by adding a black eyeliner. Using my ring finger, now I'm gonna dip into Evo Genie and I'm literally just gonna swipe it onto the lid. Tap through the outer corners to ensure that it's nice and blended. And using the tip of my finger, I wanna ensure that I blend with that crease and my eyeshadow. Using a small brush, I'm gonna really go in there into the tear duct Pressing in the eyeshadow as opposed to swiffing because I really want to make sure I get the best color payoff. Taking the same color, I'm going to round off the tear duct and bring that color into the lower lash line. Now I want to create some dimension into my cheeks. I'm going to use the color Trippin' and I'm going to really saturate the back of my hand using my full body foundation brush. I'm going to sweep it in the cheeks, slowly bringing that color upward. I have completed my eye look with some mascara. I'm going to finish my look using Starstruck on the lips. And I'm gonna take Unicorn and just saturate the outer corners, working my way into the center to really create some nice dimension. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Fenty Beauty.